Okay, we have one challenge angle grinder. Uh, model number there. And this one is definitely faulty. So I'm just gonna share with you a few things I do to check as we go. I normally start with the, the plug. We'll open this up. First thing, check the fuse. Now we're gonna check the fuse with a multimeter. And you can see in there the wiring's good. Um, set your multimeter to ohms. This, this multimeter is 200. Test your multimeter by connecting the probes together. You see we've got a, a very low reading. So that will be sufficient to test for the fuse. So I put one side on. Now we now know the fuse is good. So we'll proceed to open the angle grind opening the angle grinder up now. I'm going to start with the wiring side of it. So we'll remove this bit. I'll try and work out what's wrong with it. Give this a pull. It normally comes off. There's quite a bit going off in there. But and what I want to do is prove the flex so we know there's good power going into it. So I'll put one probe on the neutral in the plug and the other probe, which is a piece of wire in my case but it still works, on the neutral and you can see we've got good continuity there. Do the same for the live. So we've just proved the wiring to the product. I've just noticed in this particular machine the uh, commutator is looking very, very black and discoloured. So what I'm going to do is check the, the brushes. Sometimes these can get seized in place. The various, you know, carbon from the brushes tends to lock them in place. Let's grab all of the brush wire in here. Let's give them a little pull, check the loose. Should remove any carbon. One thing I have noticed is there is a connector here which is it seems to have ridden upwards. It should be firmly seated like the rest of its friends. Just wiggle that back down. And give it a push with a screwdriver. Well, I've checked a few obvious things and uh, I think it's now time to put it back together and see if it will power up. I've actually tested the field coils that are in pairs here and just put the multimeter across and look for continuity because if there's a coil in there and if, if that is broken, we are wasting our time. But in order to safely test it, I need to put it back together properly. I don't want to be adding power to it with electrical connections. 
exposed. Okay, I'm gonna clean the armature with the motor. I've got some really fine 2000 grade wet and dry. So I'm gonna place it on here. As I rotate that, that will then clean it. Cleaning up slightly. Just want to give it the minimum abrasion. It just seems very black, but it should be slightly dirty, which is no bad thing. But not like that. It's the only area of suspicion I have. Just continue off camera. One quick test you can do to prove the coils in the commutator. So as this turns its energising pairs of coils, the turning motion moves on to the next pair of coils. It's connect to your multimeter on ohms to uh, the brushes. The, see this cable coming out here in the brushes. So if I get my multimeter there, you can see we have a reading. And if I turn it, we move on to the next pair of coils. So we now know the brushes are making good contact with the commutator. So if this doesn't work, it could be down to another fault I haven't found yet. That's proved every pair of coils there is, because we never once broke continuity. So it's time for another test. So we'll put it back together, make it safe and see what happens. Now we've got this. Commutator to lovely and clean. Well, plugged it in at the mains, didn't do anything. So I thought, well, I've done everything now. Let's check the switch. So I've had a look in the switch, and as you can see, we've got burnt out contacts about there. So that will need to be replaced for this angle grinder to work again. Due to the miracle of video, I'm about to have a little break while a brand new switch came in the post. So I'm going to remove the old switch and carefully swap over the terminals taking care not to mix them up simple way of doing this is one at a time This switch incidentally came off a very well known auction site. Took a little bit of finding, but hopefully I've I've got it right. It was quite inexpensive, it was only a couple of pounds in that region. Hopefully I can slot the switch back in. Hmm. I wonder if it's 
slightly bigger. Well, it looks the same deal dimensionally. Because we just have to wiggle it through. Well, I'm going to stop filming here and work out where I've gone wrong. Well, after a bit of persuasion, we got the switch in. I think it could be very marginally dimensionally different um, kind of thing which occurs when an item gets re reproduced uh, calibration of rulers can be a little bit different that's my theory anyway so we're going to reconnect mutual Reconnect the live. Just push the switch down marginally. I think we're back where we were. We'll just double check that this bit here is, is pushing on the switch. Yes, it is. I'm just going to adjust that live. Sorry, neutral. It's just a bit close to this plastic part. There we go again. We push the switch down. Two steps forward, three back. Or is it three forward, two back? No, it's definitely the, the second one I mentioned. all reconnected must be the newness in the switch we'll reconnect the cable strain wish to got a Phillips screwdriver but we're going to manage with this flat blade It is possible I have cleaned the commutator for nothing um, and removed the patina, but I'm not too bothered. This is an inexpensive angle grinder. That I got given. So I'm only into the cost of the switch with this one. Okay, the fun part. It's quite handy to have a couple of angle grinders if you're doing a job. Cuts all that blade swapping out. Put the end, switch, end screw in. Make everything safe before we apply the power. And we'll see what kind of a result we get. So the switch is nice and smooth as it should be. It's, you can hear it engaging on the, the new switch. And now it's time for the big switch on. And we have one working repaired angle grinder. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please 
if you be so kind and you know you've got some benefit out of this video and hopefully that's the idea feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel I aim to upload new videos on a, on a weekly basis so thanks again for watching see you in the next video